Thank you. My name's Jeff, and I'm Brian's older brother and best man. I'd first like to start off by saying thank you to John and Anita Hardy for helping make this wedding possible. I'd also like to thank all of you for coming tonight, especially those of you that knew I'd be saying a few words. It's, it's touching that you still decided to come. Brian and I have been brothers now for a little over 22 years. In the course of 22 years, you really get to know someone well. I've seen Brian go from an annoying little kid to the slightly less annoying guy you see today. <laughs> One of my earliest memories of Brian was him telling jokes that made absolutely no sense. Those of you who knew Brian as a kid may understand what I'm saying. Those of you who don't, let me give you a taste of one of Brian's best jokes. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because Indians don't like ice cream. <laughs> FYI, Brian's jokes today aren't much funnier. I was even there when Brian discovered his first armpit hair on our trip to Michigan. David and Garrett, I know you guys are out there somewhere. You guys were there. And so as not to forget it, he circled it with a permanent marker. And I found out that on my trip to Garrett's house this year, we still have the pictures to prove it. Well, if there's one word I could use to describe Brian, it would be sneaky. Now, some of you may be wondering what I mean by that. Well, you remember in the movie Mr. Deeds when the butler would say, don't underestimate the power of the sneakiness? In our house, we couldn't underestimate the power of Brian's sneakiness. Now this, I'm gonna tell a story and it may be, may be a little embarrassing for Brian, um, but it's his wedding and this is the only venue I can get away telling it to a group of this size. And as I stand with a microphone on the opposite side of the table, I know there's nothing that he can do to stop me. When Brian was younger, he liked to spy on Steven and I with our girlfriends. And he was particularly interested in seeing if he could catch a glimpse of a kiss. I would be with my girlfriend downstairs, we'd be watching a movie, you know, having a good time. And little Brian would come sneaking down the stairs, real quietly, find a hiding spot in the shadows and he'd, he'd watch. <laughs> hoping to see some very PG-rated action. And I'm not talking about the movie. There was even this one time that Brian decided to spy on Steven, so he snuck in Steven's room before he was back. Steven returned shortly thereafter. The problem is that Brian got stuck in his hiding spot longer than he expected because he realized once they came in, leaving his hiding spot would blow his cover. <laughs> so he stayed there, and he stayed there so long that he actually fell asleep. <laughs> and did I mention that his hiding spot was Steven's bathtub? <laughs> you know, I've heard that people learn by watching people, watching people, so Megan, I would like to take at least half credit for any kissing skills that Brian has. <laughs> But I guess you could say now that the student has become the teacher. <laughs> because as I stood up on the stage, next to Brian and Megan as they shared their first kiss as husband and wife, it's embarrassing to admit, but that's the closest I've been to action in a while. <laughs> I don't think an accident of birth makes people brothers. It may make them siblings, but brotherhood is something that you have to work at. One of the greatest joys of my life has been watching my brothers grow up and after years of fighting, finally becoming friends. And as I was thinking about what I wanted to say tonight, I started thinking about brothers. You know, what, what is a brother? Brothers have a keen understanding as to who each other is, gained by years of experience, seeing each other at our highs and at our lows. Brothers share inside jokes. Popcorn? <laughs> Brothers remember staying up late with dad and then rushing to bed when we heard mom come home. 
Brothers understand that what mom doesn't know won't hurt her. <laughs> and that nobody likes a tattletale. <laughs> Brothers understand that farting at the dinner table will earn you dish duty. <laughs> but that if you make it silent, you could blame it on someone else. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Though if you blame it on mom, that will definitely earn you dish duty. <laughs> Brothers share childhood memories and grown up dreams. And as we're here tonight, commemorating Brian moving on to the next stage of his life, I want to let you know that I'm proud of you and the guy you've become. You're one of the best guys that I know. And one of the clearest ways that you've shown your character is in the woman you've chosen for your wife. Megan, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. And I can think of no one else I'd rather have join our family or who would be a better wife to Brian than you. You're generous, selfless, loving and kind. You know, I've thought about this. I think I understand why Brian and Megan work so well together. It's because Brian appreciates perfection, which is why he appreciates Megan. And Brian, he deserves the best. So to my brother, my friend, and his new wife, my new sister, let's raise our glasses to love, life, laughter, and happily ever after, as Mr. and Mrs. Ayers. Let's drink! <laughs>